I think that's really what separates um, you know, good distilleries from great distilleries, is the ability to reproduce something really good every single day. Sugarland's Barrels and Bottles Rubbing Man, made in this, America's largest pot still. We really differentiate ourselves from all the other whiskey that's out there. At 4,500 gallons, this is bigger than a lot of pools. Master distiller Greg Item says this batch process makes for unique flavor. Caramel, the vanilla, um, you're going to get some uh, a little bit of you know fruitiness. Hitting the right notes every time is a challenge, which is why they have a team. We've got a sensory panel, so we've got six of us and then a couple people from the University of Tennessee. And some very special machinery. That's almost like a jet engine. Through glass tubes, super chilled, they end up with a thimble a pure flavor. As each of the compounds come out, I can smell um, the different character as well as the intensity of a compound. That's UT's doctoral candidate, Melissa Dean, and that's not a printer she's smelling. It's a gas chromatographer. It creates a peak on this chart recorder. It tells us how much of a compound is in there. And having them do um, you know, lab analysis and gas chromatograms for us, um, that allows us to kind of learn as we go. Giving them a snapshot. A fingerprint of that whiskey. You can even see the spikes, think an EKG, on their website. As far as drinking your whiskey at home, you don't necessarily need to know all those chemical compounds and you don't have to nerd out on it like that. For industry, a consistent whiskey. For researchers, serving a mission to aid the private sector in Tennessee. The, you know, manufacturers can have a lot more control over the flavor profile. Which helps you with every sip smooth. In Kodak, Ben Cathy, WVLT News.